we process cognitive information in general. We all know we make thousands of decisions every day. Some are more conscious, some are unconscious, some are very analytical. Some decisions and choices are driven by our gut, our emotion, and some aren't. The field of psychology has long theorized this distinction between the sort of emotional and irrational information processing. People have two different systems of receiving and processing information. One, known as system two, is a very conscious, explicit, more analytic system. And the other is referred to as system one. This is our unconscious emotional system, which is more automatic. When we need to make these sort of associative judgments about a situation, our brain needs to rely on what are known as decisional shortcuts, which can sometimes lead us astray. And sometimes this leads to biased judgments or misperceptions about risk. We do tend to rely more on system one when time for judgment is a bit more limited. And we also tend to rely more on system one when the decision we're making feels more emotional. People often tend to under-prepare. People have a false sense of security. This makes us generally less likely to protect against risks. One solution, if you know people are optimistic, is that when you're stating the negative consequences of a behavior, you also clarify how that impact extends to other individuals. Now, in addition to avoiding information about our financial health, people tend to avoid receiving bad news about their physical health, which can lead people to avoid seeking out health information that ironically probably critical. The more aversive the potential outcome, ironically, that leads to even more information avoidance.